we came out with our fudge Crazy Horse Leather. It has been a huge hit. And with this has come many questions on how to care and look after your boots. So in this video, we're gonna take you through two ways to clean and care for your Jim Green boots that happen to be in the fudge Crazy Horse Leather. This is my pair of boots that I've been wearing for the past seven months. I've worn them five to six days a week. And just for the sake of this video, I actually haven't polished them or taken any care of them, which is not recommended as you should be cleaning your boots uh, after every use or at least once a week. Now, a crazy horse leather is not actually made from horse. It is a cow or bovine leather and is very similar to a nubuck. Uh, the biggest difference between a nubuck and a crazy horse leather is that a crazy horse leather has oils in the leather. As you can see in my pair of boots that I've been wearing for the past seven months, the oils have started to take a natural patina. So many customers want to preserve this natural look and natural patina that, that this leather gives you. And through polishing it with a suede cleaner or with a leather balm beeswax, you're gonna get different results. By the end of this video, we are gonna show you what your boots will look like and the correct steps to take and how to clean your boots.
So we have left these boots now for just over an hour and we have let the sway cleaner and the leather balm sink in a little bit and you can already see the huge differences that, are, that is going on here. For myself, I personally prefer the natural look and the patina. If we have a look at this boot, you can see that the oils in the Crazy Horse are starting to emerge again where they were previously before, before the cleaning. Uh, the boot now has a much more crisper and cleaner look to it. We've added some new laces, the hooks and eyelets are looking nice and shiny, and the suede cleaner is obviously going to add a little bit more protection to the boot with further wear. So now if I move on to the left boot where we used our leather balm uh, or a beeswax, you can see it's got a much more even finish to it. Unfortunately, by going this route, you do lose some of that natural patina that the crazy horse would have developed. Although, as I mentioned, the, the leather balm or beeswax does take a lot longer to sink in. So with time and wear, the boot will lighten up a little bit more, but it will never go back to the same color that we have here on the right boot. Polishes we use for this video, it is our in-house brand, um, a sway cleaner and a leather balm. This leather balm does have some natural beeswax in it. So if you do not have access to these products, we then suggest any trusted product from your local store. So chaps, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and if you have any ideas or further suggestions for any upcoming content you may like from us, please comment below. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.